Hey there folks and welcome back to the IMCDB project. I of course am your host CDB. You are not and today we are going to give you a look at the above the tie satin Windsor razor which you see here. Comes in the very nice packaging that you would expect from above the tie with the cutouts and the blades and uh, if you buy the set of course it comes with all three plates. Uh, this is the Windsor and it has changed a little bit. Uh, some of the noteworthy changes are it's longer to cover more of the blade. We'll pop a blade in. I'm going to be using the R uh, blade. And by the way, this razor comes with the standard 30-day uh, satisfaction guarantee that Above the Tie is known for. Uh, one of the things you'll notice is those uh, holes there in the plate. I'm using the R plate uh, today. Again, this is satin. Same price as the uh, polished. These posts are a little bit longer also, I'm told, which you can see there they are a little bit longer, which helps. And uh, I'll show you here in a second the uh, how this razor covers the edges of the blade, which was a gripe from some people. Well, now that is covered, so it's it's in there. No bubbles, no troubles. You don't have to worry about cutting yourself. I have never had a problem with uh, those edges stick to, sticking out. I've never nicked myself or anything like that, but you know, I guess some people have, or they just prefer them to be covered. I guess it does look nicer. Uh, it's got the nice knurling that above the tie, of course, is known for. Uh, we're also gonna be using today Captain's Choice Venture Cream, which smells kind of like Creed Aventus. So let me go ahead and let's wet the face and get going. I'm just back from uh, Christmas vacation. Well, just a couple of days off around Christmas. And uh, I hope everyone had a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. This was the best Christmas I've had for a long time. Um, it was just a little more traditional, you would say. Uh, I would say because I, I got a chance to spend, spend it with my family and, you know, my wife's family. Um, in previous years, we always had to make a decision with my previous wife, her family lived in Mississippi, and so we sort of had to choose Thanksgiving for one holiday, for one you know, for my side, and then Christmas for hers, or vice versa. And it was always tough and a very long drive. And this year, uh, it wasn't bad because my wife is uh, from the same town that I grew up in, which is Beckley, uh, West Virginia. And um, so, we went down to saw, saw my folks, and my sister, and so forth, in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, and then we came back to spend some time with her folks, and it worked out beautifully, which was really, really nice to to see most everyone, and I got to do Christmas, of course, with my daughter uh, last week, because uh, she had things going on on Christmas. She's, of course, an adult, and so... We managed to get everybody fit in and, you know, only four hours of travel versus like 12, uh, you know, one way. So that made it nice. Um, now, I will say I always did enjoy, you know, my in-laws from my last match. Very, very good people uh, whom I really uh, enjoyed and hope to, you know, hope they know that I certainly appreciated their kindness and all the rest, but I must tell you, this year um, was just wonderful. It just, it, it felt, it felt more like home because I was, you know, in the place I was born anyway. By the way, I haven't said a thing about this razor other than the uh, first little bit. It is smooth. It feels good. I think this is 303 stainless steel. These are always built very well, and you know Stan is a He's a good fellow. He doesn't pull any punches. He's not a showman. He just makes great razors. And this, of course, is one of them. Uh, our plate, by the way. Let me go ahead and wet the face. Anyway, had a real nice Christmas. Um, got to catch up with uh, my sister's uh, brothers and, or not my sister's brothers and sisters, that would be me but my wife's brothers and sisters and parents and 
nieces and nephews and it, it was really nice and so uh it just it felt a little more traditional i guess you would say because it was in the same place it was actually there was actually some snow on the ground actually friday when i left it was snowing like crazy in the beckley and the snow at least lasted until christmas day so technically it was a white christmas technically although it didn't snow on christmas it was really good had a really nice time and I hope you all did too. One of the things I would say is um, surround yourself, folks, with quality people who you trust. Uh, I, you know, I get on here and 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 preach and and give all matter of, of advice and counsel and rant and rave. I like to call it editorializing, not ranting. But anyway, but let me tell you. Things can happen to you at any time that are unexpected, and you need to be able to roll with it. It's difficult. It was 2018 was a difficult year uh, for me. It ended beautifully, but it was difficult, and I had a lot of help from friends, family, um, and I, you know, I speak about that all the time. How important that is and rededicating and reconnecting. Great, this thing is smooth by the way. <laughs> I realize most of you are coming to see this razor. I will show it more, believe me, but I really did want to mention Christmas and what a blessing it was. And um, I'm certainly inspired to just try to be a blessing to folks as, as uh, much as I can. I have not been on social media at as much I've tried to live a little more in the in the real world, so to say, and I think it's it's working at least. Uh, it feels like it is, anyhow. And uh, 2018 comes to a merciful end soon, but like I said before, um, the end of the last number of months, the first half was that horrible. Um, not quite the first half, but the last was much, much better. There was a lot of adjusting and and things like that to new environment. And although I've known my wife for 30 years, it had been, you know, we certainly haven't lived together <laughs> until we got married. And so, um, you know, that there's always that adjustment when you're around somebody uh, and haven't lived with them. Um, and that was really not difficult because she's very caring. And, you know, she's certainly one of those people that likes to, you know, be a blessing and always looking to lift people up. She does that professionally, in fact. And so uh, it, it's it's really good. And I would re reiterate again, um, for those of you who are, single or who are looking or make sure above all that you are picking a person with integrity with good core values that meet your own um, are you spiritual are you you know then find someone who shares that spirituality find someone who shares at least some of your or i would say most of your core values they don't have to share your love of shaving, you know, but find somebody that shares your core values and is wired, at least morally, in the same way and someone uh, that you can trust, most importantly. And once you find that, then certainly go with it. And the other thing I would caution you, if you build your house, you know, on sand, uh, or, or a shaky foundation to begin with. In other words, that is to say, what are the, what are the uh, factors involving how you're building your relationships to start with? If that foundation is not solid and moral and all those things, it's likely to collapse. Um, take it, take it from me, somebody who has learned uh, the hard way. Although again, it's a, it's a lesson that I take. It gave me the opportunity to do the things I'm going 
I'm doing now and to be with the people I'm with now. So I'm grateful having had that experience. And that's the way I think you should really approach these type of things. Be glad for the opportunity to grow. And I realize a lot of people are like, oh, that's a bunch of feel good mumbo jumbo. You got to take your victories where you can. And that's what I try to do. So you may not believe in that, but that's, that's what I try to do. Anyway, connect yourself with a quality individual with integrity, trust, shares your values. If you do that, I think, you know, you'll be good. If, if you're pursuing adventure and fun while those things are, are captivating and wonderful, it will die down eventually. And when it does die down, when that adventure and excitement dies down, then you don't have anything and then you have problems. And so if you make sure you're moored both of you and your partner to the same sort of values to begin with, I think you'll be better off. And that's my preaching for today. Uh, now, a little bit about this razor, and I'm just touching up here as I talk. Really a nice razor. It is what you would expect from above the tie with some changes, as you see here. And we'll talk more about it as we use it, because I'll be using it more over the weekend and so on. But it delivered a beautiful shave. Again, the R-plate, which is sort of medium aggressive. Um, it feels smooth to me. Uh, it's been a while since I've used an R plate, but uh, it feels really good. And you know that above the tie puts out quality stuff. Uh, this thing is a tank. It's going to last forever if you don't mistreat it or leave it out in the rain or salt water or something. Um, good products from a, a good uh, individual who I have talked to a number of times over the years. And I'm a fan just because of the way he conducts himself and the way he does business, quite frankly. And there are a few people like this, more than a few. I mean, you can't really go wrong with folks like Stan and, and Matt at uh, Timeless. And, and there's just so many uh, companies. They're competitors, but both of them really do great work. And certainly I want to show you this. That was sent to me by Stan, which I will send back, uh, by the way. Just wanted to let you know. But anyway, really nice razor above the tile. Uh, Windsor, which they are the, all the razors going to sort of be going in this d design direction, covering the caps and reducing blade chatter. Uh, you can go to the above the tie website and read more about it. That was a really nice shave. I realized it was preachy. I'm sorry, but I had that uh, on my mind. I wanted to share it with you. Learn from me. Just because I get up here and babble doesn't mean that I don't have misfortune, that I don't make mistakes, because I certainly do. And I have fessed up to a number of them throughout the years. But I try to share it for your benefit. Try to be a blessing. That's, that's my goal for 2019. Try to be of service. Try to be a blessing. It sounds corny, but I mean, that's a pretty good uh, goal. Th those are pretty good goals, I think, anyway. Anyhow, I will wrap this up when I do with um, fine, fresh vetiver. Just want to splash that on because it's great. And, of course, we'll... Be rolling with the magic made by witches. Anyway, you'll see me again this weekend. I'll make more videos. But until then, I've been your host, CDB. You're not. God bless.